Alright there, welcome back to Deep Dungeons in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we are currently on floor 99. And uh, if you saw my previous video, you will remember that I was defeated by the boss on floor 100. So what I have done in, or in the meantime since then, is uh, I did a practice run where I started at floor 50 specifically just to get back to that boss as quickly as possible and uh, basically have a practice session and see if I could figure something out and um, on the way to it uh, I can't remember which floor it was on specifically but uh, my friend was watching on a private stream on discord and we were talking about the angel transformation the commander of resolution because when we used it last time around in that last video it did a lot more damage than either of us could remember it doing on previous occasions where they've seen me use it so we tried it again on just some regular mobs and uh, it, it was um, doing less damage again I was like what what's going on with this like why why does it seem that it was doing a lot of damage and then it's doing like no damage and before that it seemed like it was doing no damage it actually says on the tool tip for the spell when you're transformed that uh, it does more damage against certain types of enemies which instantly made sense because the time I used it and it did a lot of damage I was fighting against undead things like courses and mummies so I instantly thought, can it be used to more easily kill the zombies that the boss summons? So it was the first strategy that I tried once I got back up um, to that level, up to that boss. And not only does it actually kill them nice and quickly, but if you use it again on their dead bodies, which I also only saw by accident because one died and the other one hadn't and then I used the same attack again and it just so happened to hit the dead one as well as the one I was trying to attack and the dead one's body disappeared so it can actually be used not only to kill them more quickly but also to remove them from the board so if you use it at the right time you can actually remove the adds from the fight and it, it's just it's so much easier and simpler at that point so I have been able to defeat that boss but because I started at floor 50 it didn't count for uh, the achievement but uh, as you can see now we have plus 93 arm and plus 99 armor and uh, haven't figured out yet what it means when the ether pool has a dark orange number so that's something that I hope to suss out as we progress through uh, the next hundred floors because bear in mind that this is only the halfway point so <laughs> if it doesn't if the ether pool does not progress beyond 99 I'm actually quite concerned that that's going to be um, uh, a bit of a, a problem but then I don't know how the rest of the floors are even designed and balanced I know I've cleared 150 in a group with that first group um, like a year or two ago no it would have been no, one year ago would have been two years ago so I've obviously forgotten a lot since then right here we go so providing I don't screw this up I've got four minutes on strength and steel so I shouldn't need those we should be fine for the first, like the, the first pair, and until we get to the point where there's multiple sets of them. If that makes sense. Alright, that's the first set coming up.
So I'm not going to use the Pomander just yet. I want to wait until the second set at least to get summoned because just the first two at this point aren't too difficult to deal with. Get the second set up. I hope I haven't left it too late or done it too soon because I might die here if I take too much damage. But that's removed those. So now we'll have another set when he summons more. But we can quickly get rid of those as well, I think. And I haven't had to use one of the uh, special regen potions yet. I might have to just to get through, but I mean, if I do, I do is what they're for. So here comes the next set. Oh, I forgot to turn the cutscenes back on. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, that's it. I can't replicate the same cheers of jubilation that we shared over the Discord chat. But um, it, it was quite, it was quite good to see it go down and to see that we'd figured it out by ourselves. And now that that's done with no deaths, I should have the title, I hope. Although, does it say I got the... let's have a look here. Uh, no, it hasn't said so, has it? Do I need to actually go into the next floor first to get that? Then? Because there should be a title for finishing a hundred floors. Although it did say you have to record a uh, score in the next set. So maybe I need to actually be in here uh, for a bit first.
I mean, I'm not going to deliberately die, so this might end up being a longer video than I thought it would, because I was just going to do the 99th from 100th floor, so I think. There's even anything in that room. Don't need to fight this. I'm gonna end up fighting all of them. Okay. forget if I am or not. We did use a witch in so I need to put that back. If I thought about it, I could have witching there, but that might have been.
quite a big floor. chests are. That's actually going to be useful. Oh 
use this. And I think actually since we've got three of those, we might as well use that. things to find this far down as well. Normal creatures. Normal woodland creatures from the overworld in the game. So that explodes as well. I've started doing more uh, full clears instead of just racing straight to the exit is because I realized that when I take the time to check every room I increase the amount of pomanders and treasures that I get things like pot shirts as well and um, it is worth the time actually as long as you can still clear the boss in time then it is worth doing because the more useful items you have the easier a time you're going to have defeating things, finding things and like just racing straight through especially before you actually reach level 60 you can actually be under leveled for certain floors and bosses which especially while you're still building up your ether pool is a huge detriment so it is kind of worth taking the time and I just got silenced
unless she's one of those, it's not a bad idea. Squirrels. <laughs> um, are they particularly deadly squirrels? I suppose it could be if you got a bunch of them all together and they all use that haste buff. Wow. Right. did try and open this one, but I need to check it again. Oh, Rage, and we've used Rage, good. Alright, just check this down here. Should probably reapply Steel Piss. Things actually hitting a bit harder down here, aren't they? Take that away. I'm going to use a sight as well. Big floor. So we'll use a fortune. Check this one first.
only need to go as far as this first room on this side to get the silver coffer. Now we can go back the other way. This is what we think might be the maximum number we can get for our arms and armor now. as well. Wow, look at this lot. Those silver ones are going to do anything for us at this point, are they? Right. Let's just see what's in here as well. It's just the one. Since we've got less things on the next floor, we won't have to have an alteration, I think. And even though there's going to be less things in here, I think at this point we're going to use the strength and steel as well.
great, never mind. My favourite. There is a chest on this floor, so I could come back into that top room to grab that once we've actually got the coffer. I just realized actually, like yes we're fighting these like seemingly random surface animals, like forest creatures and stuff, but they are the same animals that we're fighting in floor one or like the first 10 floors if you like so it's actually not that strange since we've finished at least what I assumed was the last boss and then this is like some kind of extra mode or something I don't know, maybe I'm wrong it just feels that way like you've, you've done the 100 floors you've done like you've done Edda you've done the Necromancer and now it's like just an extra. I don't know. I know what. I know what. I mean. <laughs> don't worry. I'm just chatting shit. Just ignore me. Okay, I might have to speed up a little bit. sure it said that there was a treasure on this floor. We haven't found it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Over there. It's also where the exit is as well. keep going for those just in case it does something but I, I do feel like that that looks pretty much like it is the maximum doesn't it so it makes me wonder what are the bosses going to be like and how much stronger are mobs going to get because surely at a certain point if the monster strength keeps increasing but the player strength doesn't it's going to get to the point where it becomes next to impossible surely I mean, there's obviously ways to do it, but I'm just like worrying ahead. Very interested to see how this all plays out.
two down here. speed on a bit. Did I try this? Oh uh, yeah I did, okay. I'm gonna skip that bottom room there and just move on because I don't think it said there was one on this floor. <sighs> well I hope it didn't anyway. <sighs> How about that concept? Alright, it's on this floor so that's fine. I did a lot of damage. Okay, at least I actually do regenerate in this form, which I didn't think I did in the past, so, or at least not much. I don't want to see what was in that chest there. Another intuition. <laughs> oh wait, no, there is one on this floor. I can't leave. I almost did. There it is. All the way through there. So if, would you know what, I've got three, I might as well use one. If there's one on the next floor, good. If not, never mind. And uh, let's just try and get to the bus and see what we can do. Either it kills us and we record the score, which should give us the title, or we progress on. Either way is good for me. as well. Grab that and let's use a sight. Okay, it's a long straight line floor. Let's use fortune. And there is one on this floor.
znaleźć. forget like oh copper have to look oh copper have to look Boss, we've got three treasures to open. Well, let's go and see what it is. Big bat. minutes left on things so we're just going to try it to what happens
Nice. Yeah, it just didn't seem hard at all. Alright. Let's go and see what these treasures are. And then I'll see if I can figure out um, whether or not I get the title before I die or after I die. Uh, and then just carry on, I suppose. Although, not in this video. Oh, yes, we've got different sacks now as well. Nothing. And just a bit of armor. Might be worth a small amount of money, not a lot. Let's see what's in these ones. These are the newer ones. Inferno Claws, Pugilist Weapon. Tremor Knuckles, another Pugilist Weapon. And a Material. Alright, let's have a look at those Knuckles then, let's see what they look like. Oh, they're just Titan Weapons, aren't they? That one. And Inferno, that'll be the Euphoric ones. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, I'll see if they're worth anything. Probably not worth a lot, but still nice. Still a fun thing to find. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much for hanging out. You all take care, and I'll see you next time.